Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan <clears throat> coming to you here to talk about day three of the League of Legends Nest tournament in China. Um, yesterday, we had a pretty good day as well, uh, as we have correctly predicted IG um, winning uh, pretty handedly. And IG seems like a dark horse um, in this tournament so far based on their form. Um, and then BLG struggling, as we kind of talked about as well, tying one-to-one -one and low kill upside there. So I think we had a pretty good analysis yesterday as well, two days in a row. So we hope to continue uh, rolling here today on day three. Um, it's a four-game slate. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Um, the first game, as you can see on the screen, is Team WE versus Ultra Prime. WE actually has the main LPL level players starting. Um, so I fully expect them to <clears throat> um went out here today. And I want to show you what WE's uh um starters look like. And maybe it's in the Discord that we have posted earlier in the week. Um so yeah, let's go there. So again, uh, true DFS Discord, um, where we have been very busy um, in talking about our picks and plays and stuff. So feel free to join us um, if you're interested, if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so you see they have Biu Biu, Beishang, Shanks, Xing, and Kadaya, all five of which have played um, in the LPL level games last, last season. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they played really well in their first series, uh, respectively, um, two to zero, I believe. So I, I just feel like WE should roll here and I'll look at the Ultra Prime uh, lineup as well. This were the starter. These were the starters last game. Um, <laughs> you see the Photoshop they did here with the uniforms. It's kind of funny. But anyway, um, allies, obviously, you guys probably recognize him. Um from the LPL and Kellen uh, at times. So, I mean, Ultra Prime is, I mean, I, actually they did not look that bad comparatively compared to like other um, LDL, like development league teams that we've seen so far. I think Ultra Prime's fine, but they're going up against the Juggernaut in Team WE, who's on a mission to win this tournament. So I think they fully expect WE to win. Uh, we should expect full, uh, fully WE to win. Um, I think they're going to win two to zero. Um, let's look at the kill upside, though, right? So I think that's that's what's important <clears throat> on these two gamers, um, best of twos, rather. Um, I want to see how many kills um, WE and Ultra Prime has racked up, respectively. WE and Ultra Prime, right? They played yesterday, uh, two days ago, or yesterday, I guess, technically. <clears throat> WE they won two to zero against OMG with cream at mid lane. Um that was very convincing. I think WE averaged about 18 and 21. Wow, that's pretty good. That's the ultra primes, right? Ultra Prime 17, 17. And then gave up 16, so that's not too bad. I mean, 13, 22, 11, uh, 17, so like like 19-ish. Uh, no, what's that? 22, 11, 11, 17, so 14-ish. And then WE, I know they averaged themselves 18 and 21 where they dictated most of their stuff. So probably like 20-ish, that's my guess. So <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think 17-ish, I think that's medium, medium to high uh, kill upside. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to go with. Um, so let's do that real quick. Yeah, so anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with Team WE to win here 2-0 to zero, um, with medium and high kill upside. So I think that's pretty good. Um, 17, yeah. I think 17 is pretty good uh, per, per match. So, all right. And then the next one is <clears throat> Anyone's Legend versus JDG. JDG is a huge favorite here. Um, 
I'm not sure I agree with that, but let's look at the roster and let's look at their previous matches, right? All right, let's look at JDG as their favorite. Okay, Insulator that I recognize, Maggie. 1XN was all right. I, I didn't think he was that great last game. Okay, then anyone's legend, is it that much worse? Real Life and Urha actually convinced me that they, they were okay, um, but they were, I mean, you know, I predicted them to lose uh, convincingly against um, IG, and that could happen again. They just did not look that great again, but are they that much worse than JDG? I don't think so, um, but at the end of the day, I think JDGs probably should be favored as it is. I know they lost to IG convincingly. Um, anyone's legend did okay against BLG, but BL that was more BLG's fault. But still, AL <clears throat> fought back, and I mean, I think I like that about AL. So even though they didn't give up, so you see, AL lost to IG as well. I mean, IG is on a roll. You see, like IG in both games against AL and JDG, common opponent in I in IG. I just, I mean, smash them. I mean, so that that's interesting for the next match. But for now, JDG versus AL, I think it's more, I think that's too steep, minus 700. But, I mean, there's a reason for that. I mean, like the, you, you saw today, um, somebody was favored by a lot today, and I think it was OMG. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to go probably tie AL, JDG. Ties one to one. Let's look at the kill upside, though. Um, IG tends to play fast, and they had a common opponent in IG. So um, so let's just look at one by one. So 12, what's that? 20, 10. Not that high. 10. So I'm just adding these two. So what's that? 20 minus two. So 10 on average for the game plus what is that? 16. Yeah, 16. So that's 13 on average. JDG play a little bit faster, which they tend to do as a team, as a whole. I see JDG on average gave up 27 kills in the first game, so 32 minus 2, 16. And then 12, 6, 18, wow. So 17. Yeah, so what is that? Like 15-ish. So I'd say medium kill upside. Um <clears throat> So not as good as the first matchup, right? So and and I think <clears throat> that's gonna be closer than people think. I I think a lot of people will play JDG, um, whether for cash or for single entry GPP, I guess. But um, I I'll just be careful on a JDG here today. That's probably JDG is not gonna make my favorite play of the day, uh, for sure. All right, the next matchup is IG versus BLG, and I've been very, very bullish on IG this tournament, and they've paid off for the first two two days. Um, I would have made IG my favorite play to the, yesterday again, but I didn't want to make that two days in a row. That'd be kind of boring. So, um, But I just want to point out that BLG has looked on the other side of this matchup. BLG has looked horrible. I think they are obviously better skilled, um, and better talented in the laning phase. But in the mid to late game, I mean, they just cannot finish the game. They have this advantage from the laning phase, but they just cannot utilize that advantage to win the game. And it's been so frustrating to watch them. And that's something that they suffered from last season as well. And nothing has been fixed. So who knows who's going to start at 80 carry today. Dalko has started at 80 carry both games, both both days rather. So we'll see if they start somebody else. Um, I think LP, uh, who is the backup AD carry for that team on the roster. But I just feel like this this is this has IG 
Um, I think they could probably tie, if not IG upsets them. So I'm just going to go conservative, a little more conservative and go they tie uh, one to one. Kill upside, though. I think it should be great. BLG, <clears throat> while they're talented and all, um, you know, so that, you know, they just, I guess this is how I put it. They are so bad mid to late game. They just delay and delay and delay the win condition so that they just skirmish, fight, 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 fight around the objectives throughout the game. So it just racks up a lot of kills because they just cannot finish the game. And But they're actually not that bad at fighting. It's just they don't know how to finish the game as a team. So there have been a lot of team fights throughout the game, you know, in the mid to late phase of the game. So I think that has increased their kill upside <laughs> coincidentally. So um, that's just a byproduct of the, their, their uh, you know, uh, you know, just not being able to finish the game. Um, but BLG, so let's look at their matches. BLG is about 7, 3, 11. Let's say 12 just for the sake of it. And then in the second game, they had, well, oh, wow, that's a lot. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. They just could not finish the game. They, they all ended up losing. So eight, four, twenty-two. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. And then I think they had two more matches today. So let's look at that. They're playing three days in a row. That's crazy, dude. All right, seventeen. So let's say sixteen, just for the consistency of it. And then nineteen. So twelve, sixteen. So fourteen, seventeen, twenty. Let's see, twenty. About 20, 19, yeah, that's a little more conservative. Still, I think that's the highest that we've seen so far. Uh, <clears throat> IG has won two plate uh, two days in a row as well, so I think they're on a roll. They had 27, 20, 32, 16. And then 12, 6, 18. Let's look at how they did today. I think it was high kills overall as well, the higher side. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, guys. I'm getting I'm a little sick. Uh, 10 um, and then 16. So 16, 17, so 14, 16, so like around 16-ish. <clears throat> so that's why, like, say 17, 18. I said 18. Um high kill upside. So yeah, I mean I, I think IG makes a very good, 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 good GPP play today. I don't want to say that like three days in a row. <laughs> but BLG has looked horrible. Uh I think they are beatable. IG has looked really good as an underdog. I think they have a really good shot today upsetting BLG. Not only that, but both teams like to skirmish and BLG not being able to finish the game, I think will lend itself, you know, lend the match itself, um, have a high kill game uh, upside for, for the upside purposes. So, yeah, I mean, I think I like that match really well. Uh, and the LGD versus EDG, none of these two teams have played. Uh, so far in the tournament because um, they're in a different group. But that does not stop us from analyzing what it could be, right? So LGD, <clears throat> where are you? Did I not post that? I did not post that. Fuck, okay. Where is it? Is it on here? No. That was from the first match. First day. Oh man. Let me see if it's on here. All right, LGD. And then EDG. So this is the Chinese like social media that I look at using translator on Google. See. 
it's in Chinese now if as I scroll down. All right. Where is this? Yeah, I don't see it. Unless I think I think I know where to go to. Um, there's a Twitter that I go to at times if I need something. So let's look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, next tournament. I think she posted all the rosters here. So let's look at that. All right. All right, LGD Chilitzi. All right, Shadow Hai Chow. Holy cow. This is the main LGD lineup <clears throat> from the LPL. <clears throat> so I just want to say they have a really good chance of winning the tournament. EDG, whereas it's all LDL development skill people. So just based on that, based on that, LGD should win. But we have seen how bad LGD was last season, even in the LPL, right? So I just would not go there quite yet. Um, but if I have to guess, I'm going to have to say LGD wins 2-0. to zero. Um, Kill upside from what I remember. I mean, I'll check right here. <clears throat> In the LPL, because that's the LPL team uh, for LGD. See how they were comparatively LGD. See, they were... <clears throat> That's what I was going to say. They are one of the slowest teams in the season, in the summer. 0.77. That's really low. And then I want to see LDL for the EDG because that's the most of the team members is. EDG. Yeah, so <clears throat> pretty slow for the LDL trend, LDL standards. <clears throat> so I want to say this is going to be very slow as well. All right. Point eight. Ish. I'm going to round it up, maybe. Still pretty slow. Pretty, I say, medium to low kill upside. And I think LGD should roll here <clears throat> because of the roster difference. So I think that's probably on the lower side as well if they win because they like to play a little bit slow. Unless they've somehow changed the entire way of playing in the offseason, which that definitely could happen, right? So anyway, so given all of that, <clears throat> my favorite play of the day would be IG. I'm just gonna say the matchup. I think that's the best way to do it. These um on these best of twos. Um, I think BLG, IG and BLG, uh my favorite match. If I were to pick an underdog, it would be favorite underdogs. I would be IG and um Probably, I was going to pick AL, <clears throat> just given that they're probably going to tie in my prediction, but that's a medium kill upside, whereas EDG as well. So I'm going to say AL or EDG, but I think EDG has a better shot. So I'm going to go IG and EDG for a long shot. Um, so anyway, so that's, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, <clears throat> please reach out to me at DFS Chan. Uh, I know we had some questions in the Discord channel. I'll answer them as as we uh, get the questions in the, in the Discord. Um, otherwise, good luck out there. Um, this this video was sponsored by True DFS again. Um, so go check out their channel and Twitter um, and everything for DFS uh, contents. Yeah, please, please hit the like button below. That would mean a lot for me uh, to keep making these videos. And yeah, good luck out there. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.